Development Authority welcomes you to Lumbini Gardens for India's first ever multimedia laser show.
सच बनाया हुआ आना वाला था
everything. find a common string. The music is simply magical. When separate colors dance into heavenly shades, the purity is shame white. When diverse emotions mingle, the fusion is humanity. When different cultures blend, the result is a lasting civilization. When people learn to live with each other, the harmony is eternal. Ibrahim Qutub Shah the king heard about his son's love for a beautiful Hindu girl. He thought it was but a passing fantasy, an infatuation of Hindu. But then one day, there was a storm. The river Musi was in flood. Muhammad Quli Qutub Shah, however, wanted to meet his lady love and could not be denied. Braving all danger, the young prince swam across the turbulent waters. Bhagamati was ecstatic, but the king was appalled. He immediately ordered that a bridge be built across the river Mosi. And it is that bridge of love that is today called Purana Pur. The love story between Muslim monarch and Hindu commoner has a wonderful envy. They got married and lived happily ever after. But not before they gave the Deccan the gift of her name. As a token of his love for his bride, Muhammad Kuli Qutub Shah first called the city Bhagavati. When after marriage she was christened Haider Mahal, the city was renamed Hyderabad. The construction of the city started with the Charminar, which was to be its centerpiece. Four roads were to radiate from this magnificent monument towards the north, east, west, and south. The road to the west led to the famous Golconda Fort. If Hyderabad starred in a romance that cut across religious divides, Golconda too was the stage where Hindu-Muslim amity took a divine bow. When Abul Hasan Tana Shah, the last of the Qutub Shahi dynasty, heard that Ramdas, a Hindu employee, had used government money to build a temple at Bhadrachalam for Lord Rama, he was naturally upset. I'll repay the money if Lord Rama has mercy, said Ramdas humbly when questioned. 
and was promptly sent to prison with the order that he be released only when his Lord Rama settled his deeds. In prison, Ramdas showed his jailers that as long as he had the power of prayer working for him, he was free. The jailers told their king about the miracles in the cell, but he was not moved. One day when Abul Hasan was sleeping, it is said that Lord Rama and his brother Lakshmana appeared in his dream and produced the receipt for payment of the amount due to the king. Next morning, the Sultan personally came to the cell where Ramdas was interned and released him and became perhaps the first Muslim ruler in the history of mankind who was blessed with the divine darshan of a Hindu god. Legends such as these that have set the tone for the evolution of Hyderabad, a city of lakes and a city of gardens. for over two centuries, heard the battle cry of an India hungry for freedom and made way for a tricolor celebration of independence. As the state of Andhra Pradesh was bifurcated, Telangana was formed and Hyderabad remained as the state's capital.